Hello everyone, I'm Sophie Kachmanian. Welcome back. Today we're going to do skirts, working on skirts. And right now I'm going to demonstrate the yoke skirt for you. Yoke skirts can have different styles. As you can see, asymmetric or symmetric ones. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this first one for you. Where you can see there's a straight kind of yoke, no darts on it, and the bottom of the skirt is slashed and spread. As you can see here at the draft, we're going to just slash the skirt on both sides and then we're going to close the darts and close the darts and open up the lower part of the skirt. That's how you come up with that, those gathers. Let's do it. As always, we need our basic skirt blocks front to back to develop anything from, from it. Uh, so if you don't have those blocks, please go to my YouTube video how, of how to make the basic block foundation so you can uh, develop your own skirts. After I have my foundations, I place my front block against one of the lines on my dotted paper and then the back also will go like that and we're going to copy the skirt outline by holding our pencils 90 degree with the pa uh, paper and then we should not forget to mark our dart points and I went ahead and kind of did already copy it and then from the dots you draft your dart legs to the notches and you're ready to go first of all we need to place the style line for the yoke the yoke let's assume it's three inches high i'm going to measure from the top of the skirt and mark three inches okay and then i'm going to mark three inch point at the center front also then you go to the back side seam and the center back three inches you can place your ruler right at the mark matching one of the lines with the center front and start drafting that line from 90 degree corner do the same thing at the back because if you don't do that way, if you don't do 90 degree, I mean, it, your yoke is not going to be straight at the center front and at the center back. After I mark my three inch points, I'm going to use my hip curve by matching the um, curve to those points. Pay attention that my uh, ruler tail is facing towards the center front and I'm going to draft my side line, curvy line. Do the same thing by flipping your ruler to the opposite direction on the back and by catching that straight line, draft your curve on the back skirt also. Now, um, that, those lines are marking my side lines. Now I'm going to draft my slash lines on the skirt. I'm going to divide my lower skirt into five sections and they don't have to be precise with each other because we're going to slash the spread but if you would like to get any number of measurement uh, let's say how big they are let's say if you do inch and three quarter sections you should be able to divide this into five and also I'm going to mark uh, my pieces because once I cut them since they're very very similar to each other I can get confused so that's why you mark them also now I'm doing the same exact thing at the back five <clears throat> four three since the back skirt is wider uh, my pieces are going to be wider as you can see some pieces are narrow some pieces are wide I'm not even worried about that so I'm going to number the back pieces also and start uh, cutting but before I start separating pieces from each other I want to place one single notch at the front because this lower piece is going to expand the upper piece is going to squeeze in so I can later on 
by this notch decides how decide how to put these pieces together and at the back i'm going to put double notches half inch away from each other for the same purpose let's cut Final, final pattern on this brown paper so you can see the openings very clearly now here this is a straight edge of the paper I am going to place my rulers line right at that edge or you can use a square, square ruler if you have one okay and then I'm drafting the straight line on this direction then I'm going to take you see how pieces are similar to each other I'm going to take my number one piece and I'm going to place it right at the center and the piece has to go straight up on the straight line and secure your paper in this position. Now I'm going to stretch these pieces from each other to create a skirt gather. Let's say if I am planning to use medium weight fabric. I will push all my pieces two inches away from each other. But if I'm planning to use lightweight fabric, such as like chiffon or organza or something like that, I will be pushing uh, four inches uh, away from each other. So decide according to your fabric's weight. Since I'm going to do two inches in between the pieces, my ruler actually is two inches wide. I'll put it in between and then adjust my second piece right next to it and secure. And then number three. As you clearly can see, my um, waistline is severely broken, so I have to fix it. I'm going to place my ruler just like that. Again, the tail is towards the center front, and I'm connecting the tips of those pieces to each other, section by section. If you, if you have to cut, you need to cut just a bit, or you need to add in order to blend out just a bit. But you see I tried to cut as less as possible so by doing this I created a common line for the waistline before I go any further I am going to um, adjust my yoke also this was my center front actually it, it's a very good idea to mark your center fronts so you can see where the things are because again I'm going to start cutting this piece as well to eliminate the darts because the darts are closing So th those are my darts that are cut out. Now I need to adjust the yoke on another piece of paper. So I'm going to place my center front piece right at the edge of the paper. And I don't need seam allowance at the center front because uh, my pieces are going to be on fold. And then I take my second piece and place right next to the first one try not to overlap and definitely don't put away from your first piece and then my third one is going to get adjusted just like this as you notice my yoke curved up that's the way it fits on the hip Actually, like I have to mention definitely that 
um, if my yoke was much longer, let's say four inches or five inches, this would not work because this yoke will not fit closely under dress form. I'm gonna show it to you later when I am done and I put this on the form so you can see. Now, here, as you can see, again, I have breakages. Then I am going to place my hip curve again the tail towards the center front and get rid of this pointing pieces like this and let's double check to see if we have any breakage right here in cut out dart area okay so now i am ready to add my seam allowances here at the waistline between my two pieces i am going to add half inch seam allowance and curve with your curvy line at the side seam. Again, we have half inch seam allowance. And at the hemline, we're going to do one inch hem allowance. Then with the hip curve, Smooth out your seam, seam allowances so you can cut them nicely and smoothly. On the yoke piece, the waistline is going to be one quarter of an inch because yokes are cut double layered, meaning this piece is going to be self-lined. And uh, if you notice, if you remember from the picture in the book, this yoke skirt didn't have a waistband so in that case what they do they do double yoke so it's strong enough to carry the lower skirt that is a big piece of fabric obviously you can add waistband if you want to for that you can refer to waistband draft in my a-line skirt video here i am going to smooth my seam allowances here as well so i'm ready to cut that if the yoke was too high it will not fit the hip properly meaning if it was four inches or five inches this piece will stick out from the form it will not fit you can do three and a half uh, inches yoke as well until three and a half is okay longer than that you have to create a, a style line right here now you see how that yoke without darts fits on my form and let's understand how these pieces are going to be put together you see my center notch is matching with the other center notch imagine if i'm stitching this skirt so this is going to go just like that then you are going to gather this much fabric right here until those notches are matching with each other that means the notches are telling you that this much fabric is going to be gathered in the side of the skirt. So I roughly pinned the pieces with each other so you can visualize how these, these pieces are going to be stitched to each other. The center front notch is matching here, my single notches are matching, and my side seams, you see I placed horizontal notches right there, meaning the seam allowance is half an inch, and your skirt is going to be looking like that. Now we're going to work on the back, but uh, I have decided not to do the whole entire process of making this piece, because it will be using the same exact steps that I demonstrated for you for the front, meaning we're going to be cutting the pieces off of each other 
and then I will be asking you to mark those and then cut the pieces away then you will be spreading the lower part of the skirt and squeezing the upper part of the skirt here I uh, prepared a quick draft how to do those pieces and again make a straight line and start from the first piece and then two inches in between second piece two inches in between and then until you are done with all the pieces and then when you are done with here I'm missing a piece okay so all the pieces are put together this is my fourth this is my five and two inches in between now I am going to be again same way placing my ruler and like that and, and connecting all the points to each other fixing the breakage I will do the same thing for the yoke back yoke and fix check your upper part of the yoke and after you fix it you will be ready to add seam allowances actually I'm using a marker but definitely you're going to be using your pencil the mar marker is more visible through the screen so then I'm going to add my seam allowances same exact way there is no difference whatsoever and again the hemline is going to be one inch same thing is going to be done for the yoke half inch seam allowance in between and half inch seam allowance on the side seam and one quarter at the back waistline like this the only difference there is between the back piece and the front piece of my yoke skirt is the center back seam allowance, half an inch seam allowance because I'm going to have a zipper at the back of the skirt. Obviously you understand that this draft that I'm doing on the brown paper is much smaller than my skirt, uh, but um, I want to um, show you that seven inches down from the waistline here is my zipper mark at the back of the skirt there's a zipper so this was three inches and then four inches down I would have my double notches for my zipper and and then you will cut your pieces here I quickly also sketched the back of the skirt where you clearly can see the center back seam and the zipper placement in there because of this zipper we added seam allowance at the center back because if you don't have a seam allowance you don't have a zipper so when you ready to put these pieces together in advance remember we marked double notches on both pieces and obviously that that is already marked on your paper and you then you will know how to gather this and connect it with your yoke so they all match okay for your patterns definitely you should not forget to put your grain line my fabric is going to be on this direction this is unfold and the grain line here is going to be this direction again this is going to be unfold same will go on the back side of the skirt then we're going to label it this is my yoke skirt size 8 and cut one this is the yoke size 8 cut one as I mentioned before we're going to have yoke lining also which is going to be cut just like this with blue we can say that lining is going to be cut the same way usually the top yoke is fused five four three well the notches let's go through the notches again one more time i'm going to put half a long notch right there and one notch here that tells us the direction of the seam allowance and then those notches we already talked about and at the hemline we're going to have 
a notch for the hem and the side seam. The same thing is exactly similar on the back piece. If I pinned, gathered and pinned my back piece um, on the form, it would look the same thing at the back of the dress form. So um, hopefully this helps you to understand what you're doing with your skirt. And um, that will conclude my demonstration of a yoke skirt for you. I am hoping that you will have a fun time making this skirt. And I am Sophie Kachmanian. If you liked my demonstration, please push the button, like button. You can subscribe for my future videos. And um, see you next time.